Welcome to another comparison of 225 40 fifths. R17 versus 235 40 fifths. R17 tire size. Today, we'll decode how this one-step width upgrade affects fitment, clearance, efficiency, comfort, and performance before you pull the trigger. Going 10 millimeters wider increases section width 0.39 inch, yet diameter only climbs 0.35 inch, so most factory struts, fender liners, and brake lines clear fine. Check spoke to caliper gaps and rear inner arch room on lowered suspensions too. Because overall height grows by a modest 0.35 inch, axle centerline rises about 0.18 inch, giving slightly easier curb approach. Off-season snow ruts or steep driveway lips scrape less, but difference remains barely noticeable during everyday city commutes. Extra tread width and rotational mass add rolling resistance, so expect around 1 mpg decline in mixed driving. Highway revs drop slightly, but added frontal rubber offsets gains, leaving overall fuel figures fractionally lower rather than dramatically worse. Visually, the 235 section bulges the sidewalls, filling arches with a sportier stance. That tiny 4% width bump makes wheels seem flush, enhancing road presence without shouting aftermarket to purists. A 4.5 mm taller sidewall introduces a smidge more air volume, softening pothole hits and damping expansion joint chatter. Steering feedback stays crisp because profile change is subtle, preserving that planted compact car feel. With 4% more rubber on the pavement, turn-in grip improves, and braking distances shorten marginally. Added unsprung weight, however, can dull ultra-quick transitions. Enthusiast drivers will notice the front-end tracks corners with about 1 tenth G extra composure during spirited weekend canyon runs. Circumference increase means the cluster underreads by roughly 1.4%. At indicated 60 miles per hour, you're actually traveling 60.8 miles per hour. GPS verification or a quick ECU tweak restores odometer accuracy and avoids ticket surprises. ABS, stability control, and torque vectoring systems accommodate this 1% wheel speed drop with ease. After installation, perform a TPMS relearn and clear steering angle codes to keep all adaptive safety features perfectly synchronized. Moving from 225 40 fifths, R17 to 235 45ths R17 is a classic plus zero upgrade. No wheel change, minimal diameter growth, noticeable grip gain. You'll lose a touch of mileage and feel slightly heavier steering, yet enjoy faster corner exits and fuller arches. Speedometer error is tiny, electronics remain happy, and ride comfort even improves on broken pavement. Measure caliper gaps, inflate to OEM pressures, and you'll drive away with a sharper, more confident setup well worth the modest cost difference.